okay so today I have something a little bit different for you guys so today like I said I'm going to be doing two uploads or at least not two uploads but uh, two episodes of Naruto and then after that Friday you guys should still be getting those four episodes making it about a good six episodes in one week now and yeah maybe even more if I got enough time for that but since Chainsaw Man is done and yeah Tuesdays are pretty much like nothing for me to upload at all might as well just add more naruto and yeah just get those out more quicker to, to you guys um yeah just get more episodes out but yeah other than that though last episode we had naruto versus neji yeah man neji with that perfect defense i mean really just cannot touch him at all you know yeah also we got to see the backstory as well you know the little curse mark that they had so basically, I mean, all they got to do is a simple little sign, a hand sign, and that's it. Like, you know, they basically controlled you or um, they basically control you now. And that's it. That's all it takes for them to really shut you down in that instant. And the yeah, other not though, um, I'm going to just start this up here. So if you guys will enjoy this, make sure you have a like, subscribe, and yeah, just get this reaction started. Oh, hold up, Naruto. Yeah, I don't even think he had the strength to even dodge it. Dang. It's over. He's just saying in the match. Nah. Come on now. A failure's true power. Oh, a failure's true power. Nah, come on. Let's see. Cause I know he's about to get straight back up. Wait. Come on now. We're still not done with this. I'm not done yet. I don't quit. And I don't go back on my word. Yeah, I don't think Neji knows like um what Naruto's been through. Like I <laughs> For for all I can tell, I mean whatever happened with Neji, I mean that was pretty bad, but I'm just saying, Naruto, he didn't even have any parents. No one to actually stick up for him. Oh, yeah. None of that. It just had to start from scratch. Well, big deal. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Worthless little. And then no one in his village likes him either. You've got troubles. I've got news for you, Neji. You're not the only special one around here. Easier said than done. Doesn't feel like I have any chocolate. Oh yeah, easier said than done. It totally drains us that time in training with the pervy sage. Oh wait, then that's perfect chance then. Haven't you ever felt the presence of a different chakra? You have two and then a different chakra. Yeah, he's already used all of it and he can't even use it at all right now. Yep. Let's see if he can. And Neji, yeah, you can feel that. Trying to use that other chakra. I will not be responsible for what happens. Nah, look at him. Excuses. You know you about to get beat right now. Yeah, gotta prove him wrong. Nah, here we go. Yes, sir. That boy powering up. Yeah, those heels wound, um, healing up. You already know those wounds. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you feel that new presence now, don't you? Yep, that new chakra. Oh, even got a feeling that. No question. It's the chakra of the nine tailed fox. Yeah, he knows it's that nine tails. The past month. That's all it took him just to at least control some of it. Oh no, that boy gone. <laughs> Yo. He is out of there. Yes, sir. Let's see. He may be able to flag that. Let's see what else he got coming. Oh, no, he does that quick. Even in the air. Yeah, he doesn't care about that destiny. Nah, you ain't gonna have a time enough to uh, use a rotation. You're just gonna go straight through that. Yes, sir. Let's see. Yeah, I could already tell that was gonna happen. That sort of clash with their powers. Yo, this has just been crazy. Okay. Yeah, what happened? Like, where did he at? But which one's Naruto? Don't ask me. I don't even know what happened just now. <laughs> yeah, what just happened? Okay. Let's see. Who's that coming out first? Come on, no. They, they need to stop playing around. Neji? And Naruto ran right into it. Yeah. There's not a Genin alive who can beat Neji. But still. I've got to hand it to you, Naruto. Come on. Closer than anyone ever has. He's definitely gotten close. Sorry, but this is reality. No, Naruto. This match is over. Yes, let's go. Get him. He was ready. You see this? So that means not, he he was still up before Neji. If he already had enough time to um make a clone. Come on, no. I mean, I'm just I'm just saying, but I was on nails. Looks like they're coming off there. I can't move. He can't move. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can see him digging through. Used his clone as bait and waited for his chance to get Neji. That's right. I flunk the shadow clone jutsu every time. Yeah, but look at him now. Able to make so many. Able to even um yeah, transform him as well. Yep, transform his clones into a whole dog. Something as small as that. And just being able to control all that. Hey man. You see how far he's come. Failing three times. Couldn't do any you clones. Do too, after all, unlike me, you're but look at him now. The winner is Naruto Uzumaki. Yes, sir. Let's go. That boy Naruto won. You know, no no doubt. No doubting mode, you know. No doubt came from me. I already knew. That he was going to make it through. I thought this was going to keep on going until next episode. But yeah, that would have been way too long then, right? Yeah, but Nine Tails, it looks like really what it mostly did was just enhance his speed, strength. And yeah, it just allowed him to use some more chakra there. Since it's really completely different from his main. Because Neji was even thinking like, is this even chakra to begin with? And... 
Yeah, that is a good question, actually. Is it even... I mean, yeah, it is chakra. I know that. But, like, is it just so different or just so powerful that it just... It's in its own league, basically. Like, because, I mean, it is something that really nobody else can use. You know, this is... You know, the Nine Tails chakra is completely different from anything else. But, yeah, no... No doubting him. Look at him. Had the clone. He said, bro, <laughs> he said, if you don't stop messing around, I am right here. And you can see how desperately he was digging so that he could be in the right spot to get him. That's, yeah, he really was planning ahead. So, yeah, that boy won the first match. I got to see who he goes up against next, actually. Yeah, because the um, the little matchups, they were in Japanese, so I couldn't really see who was getting matched up with who. Like, um, yeah, I can know, like, some of them, but not all of them, really. So, yeah, I just have to uh, just look that up later, unless they show it again, but... Yeah, let's just make sure he rests up for the next match. Hopefully, he doesn't have to use the Nine Tails again. Or at least he can get his regular Chakra back in time. Yeah, those Chakra points sort of restore themselves back. Because if it was true with the thing with Hinata, it seems like hers weren't even really fully recovered yet. Uh, if you'll still like uh, sort of the effects from the previous match she had with Neji. But if it's not that and something else, then you have to find that out later. But yeah, if it's the matchup though, or if it was a match, then yeah, hopefully Naruto's at least will recover by then. Because this is a whole month later and it's still affecting her, so yeah. But if you'll have to, yeah, you just use the nine tails again, simply like that. But yeah, that was a perfect chance for him to use it, too. And he only used it once as well. But he did that just to summon a toad. So now really using it without having to summon it, it's like, okay, now he can really use that uh, chakra on himself and really enhance, you know, his physical abilities and all that speed and strength instead of just simply using it all just to summon one thing. And then after that, he doesn't have any more left. But yeah, this was perfect. Yeah, all his chakra was gone. So, I mean, that's all he has to do to then release that nine tails. Because it's like it's nothing else that he can release than that. So, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Would he even use the toad here? It just depends. It might it might actually be different too, because he did need the ch nine tails to do the um the chief, but I don't know if it would be like different. Like um not as big. Well, no, I don't even <laughs> the chief. I don't even think he can fit in that. It might be big enough, but I don't even think he can fit in here. But yeah, I, I think Naruto would still at least be able to make a toad big enough. To at least fit, even if he doesn't use his nine tails. But so it just depends. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that is about it for this episode. So I'll just get on to the next one. Um, so yeah, I'll just see you guys then. <laughs> yeah, look at them now, clapping for him. Never thought he'd make it this far. Yeah, look at him, surprise. Yeah. Going from everyone in the... Well, not really everyone in the village. But mostly everyone in the village just not liking him. Yes. <laughs> you know, he's still going to have the energy. But yeah, going from that to now, look at this.
truth is here in the scroll. The truth is in the course, scroll. It's only excuses made for the convenience of the head family. The I don't know. Now should be able to understand. So no, they didn't just fake the writing. Let's see. Yeah, so they didn't kill him. I'm afraid that I only have a little time left. We'll take Hisashi's corpse and hand it over in place of yours. Yeah, they was already pr planning to do Hisashi's. Hisashi fully understands his duty. Yeah. Or at least they had a little talk over it. Wait, let me pause it, because... Yeah, at least they had a talk over it, because I thought this was the decision that they made just without his consent at all. But no, he it was all in his uh, all his consent. Like yeah, he was going for it, and he was like, "Yeah, don't say it's you know, just say it's like you know, I'm just helping out my brother, you know, simply dying for him." Helping them out so they can keep the main branch family and not get rid of that. Because, yeah, I don't know how they were exactly, like, how they were feeling about the side in the main branch. Because, most definitely, Hizashi would have became the head of the main branch at that point. He definitely would have had to have been. But, it's like, how would have people felt about that... I mean, they probably wouldn't be against it, but there probably will be some that will be. But, yeah. Basically, as long as they had that talk, I mean, there's really nothing they could do. Because it's like they didn't want war, but it's like, did they do it? Like, I feel like they also did that abduction on per or uh, at least the peace treaty and abduction on purpose so that this can happen. And they would get rid of one of the main branches or something. Or basically so they could just go to war in general. You know, that could have been their plan. And just many other things that, you know, they just could have been doing. Because it's like, you're supposed to have a peace treaty, right? And now you're ended up abducting. Like, come on now. Someone of the main branch, literally the head of something, you're abducting their daughter? Like... You know, what? what's going on here? I thought we were supposed to not be going to war. You know, we're not supposed to be doing all this. Like, we're supposed to be good. We're supposed to be friends and all. And, yeah, they just end up doing that. And then they're blaming the Leaf Village. Like, yeah, just what's really going on here. So, yeah, they definitely had to plan that out. Just so they could just basically either go to war or something. Or make someone sacrifice themselves. And yeah, this was just a result of that. Yeah, that was that was it. That was all the truth right there. More than anything. Oh, it's gotta be the one with Sasuke? By the way, the Uchiha was not the Yeah. Only he is still not here. So he was a second match. Uh well That's what I was trying to figure out. No news of Sasuke yet. Yeah. Dang. Disqualify him. And it was training, too. Hey, what's going on here? Hurry up and start the next match. Come on, let's go. Because I was like, yeah, when is his match? Because they got to hurry up and get him. And turns out he was l the literal second match. So yeah, that's what I was like. Someone like Akashi would have noticed him. So, so it's like, it's come on now. Gotta kill him. He would have already been noticed. Lord Hokage, I ask you to consider waiting a little longer before disqualifying Sasuke Uchiha. Okay, so they're just gonna postpone it. And just go straight to the third. To display the full strength of our village's ninja, no opponent but an Uchiha will do. Yeah, I don't know. They just had that plan ready. That's all. They just need Sasuke for their plan. 
So that's why you need to keep on waiting. But they'll just have to go into the third match and just wait until he can hopefully come back at the last. One of the competitors from the next battle has not arrived yet. So, we're going to postpone this match briefly and simply jump ahead to the battle that would have followed this one. I withdraw. Huh? He withdraws. I withdraw, so please, advance to the next match. Oh, and now she compose match even closer. Yeah, he doesn't want to show off that uh, jutsu, day, or at least the puppet that he has to the enemy because yeah he just be showing it to everyone here Due to Kankuro's withdrawal, Shino Aburame wins and that's by that's it we came here for a real it. it's unfortunate they just can't do anything but it doesn't even matter because they could care less if they win or not they're here for something completely different You're sure an eager one, aren't you? Fine. Let's start the next match then. Aruto. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so simply taking care of two matches that quickly. Yeah, it makes sense for him withdrawing because, yeah, you really do not want anybody in the Leaf Village knowing what you can do, even though they've already, or well, at least some of them have seen it already. But you just don't want everybody to know what you can do. And, you know, what exactly are they trying to, or, um, yeah, whatever they're trying to exactly do. Yeah, it just also comes into play. Like, yeah, they just don't want anybody knowing, like, they could do this or do that. And then Sasuke didn't even have his match. So, yeah, that apparently just messed up everything for them. Because uh, if, yeah, that was actually perfect for him, wasn't it? Because if Sasuke went out first and they would have been able to really go with the plan or whatever they have. And yeah, then everything would be set in motion. But for now, luckily, I, I guess he just wasn't here. So yeah, they just weren't even able to do anything. But yeah, I'm going to need a continuation of this right here. Like what happened afterwards? Cause I, I don't think he took care of Kakashi, right? Like, yeah, what's going on here? Cause I'm like, yeah, there, there's just no way Kakashi doesn't notice him. Like, he just has to. So it's like, like how how is uh, Sasuke gonna get killed here? Like, no way that Kakashi wouldn't have been able to notice him. But yeah, I, I don't know. And then it's like, yeah, still, what's going on? Yeah, just what is taking them so long to get here? But yeah, we were able to learn the truth about what really happened. Yeah, cause I was like, oh, well, that's just so unfortunate for him because it's like they're already twins. So it's like all you got to do is just kill the one from the side branch. You know, like they're going to have purpose. He's going to have a purpose, right? Protect the main branch. But still, it's not going to be as great as the main branch, you know, so they could just easily take them all or take them out. And that's what I thought happened. But no, they actually had a talk. They discussed this. You know, uh, he, he, Ashi, yes, he wasn't against it, or, uh, he was, yeah, he was against it, and, yeah, didn't want that to happen to his brother, but, yeah, still, at the end of the day, just happened, and, and then, just like I said, too, it's like they had to have had this plan, because there's no way all this happens and then now someone's got to sacrifice himself or, you know, got to run the risk of going to war. Like, yeah, there's no way that they didn't think this through because it's like, why are you abducting them in the first or abducting someone in the first place? But. Yeah, it is definitely a drag for Shikamaru here. Because now he has to have his match 
literally the instant after Naruto's. He's like, hold up, <laughs> hold up there now. One more match closer, and then now just withdrawing. Oh no, now he is the next match. And they only got like, what, three more after this, I think? Like two, three more after his. So yeah, that's just unfortunate for him, but. Yeah, so that's pretty much about it. So yeah, I'm gonna just end it off here. Yeah, I was just seeing what else there was to talk about. But yeah, there's pretty much nothing else. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. Make sure you like, subscribe again. And y'all see you guys in the next one.